all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Prayer for the elderly and grandparents together. God, our loving Father, you are the source of life and of all gifts. You lovingly sustain us at every moment of our lives, and you bring us the fullness of life in Jesus, your Son, and our brother. We thank you for the wonderful gift of our grandparents and the elderly. You have given them to us to be our guide, as they share with us the wealth of their experiences and the wisdom that they have gained through the years. We thank you for making them witnesses to us of your abiding presence and care at every turn and change of life. We pray that you bless all of them with joy and peace, with satisfaction at the fruits of their labor, and with the faithful love of their family. Strengthen their trust in your healing mercy in the face of the mistakes and sins of the past. Grant them the joy of companionship of their loved ones and friends. Protect them from all harm and evil that cure obscure their vision of eternal peace and joy in your kingdom. Amen. Give them the patience and courage to bear the cross of sickness and weakness of the body. Help them see their sufferings and discomfort as they're sharing in the Paschal mystery of Christ. Grant us all, their family and friends, the grace of firm conviction and faith in the value and dignity of every human person created in your image and redeemed by the sacrifice of your Son on the cross. May this help us to continue to support, respect, and love them. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Wednesday, July 26. is the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please all stand as we welcome our presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wee. begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai. On the 15th day of the second month, after their departure from the land of Egypt, here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. 
Each day, the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus, will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight, you shall eat flesh, and in the morning, you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they crate. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet, he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. Food he sent them in abundance. He steered up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and, like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp, round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. 
such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down and the whole crowd stood along the shore and he spoke to them at length in parables saying a sower went out to sow and he has sowed some seed fell on the path and the birds came and ate it up some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil it sprang up and once because the soil was not deep and when the sun rose it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots some fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it but some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold whoever has ears ought to hear my friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we remember Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of our Blessed Mother Mary. We do not know many things about them. And even the scriptures wrote nothing about them. They were just silent characters, almost like St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. Yung kakaunti lang yung naisulat tungkol kay San Jose. But though nothing was written, it does not mean that we cannot know anything about them. Hindi ibig sabihin walang nasulat, wala tayong malalaman, o hindi natin sila makikilala. Mary, their daughter, became the testament of the character of her parents. Hindi ba ganun? Hindi po ba ganun iyon? Usually, the children are the reflections of the parents' character. Kaya nga ang tanong natin, kaninong anak yan? Kaninong magulang yan? Sinong mga magulang ng iyan? Hindi po ba? Ganon yun? Mag-ingat po tayo, no? Nakakahiya. I don't know kung saan natin galing yun. Pero kinalakihan ko po yun. Kapag merong nakitang bata, na medyo pasaway, sinong nanay niyan? Di ba magulang ang hinahanap? Hindi ko alam kung hinahanap ang magulang para sawayin o gustong makilala yung magulang. Uh, hindi ko po alam. Pero ang alam ko sa eskwelahan, napapatawag ang magulang kapag may kailangang ayusin sa ugali ng bata. Tama? Napatawag na po ba kayo? Secret niyo na lang po iyon. No? Dahil talaga naman, parents ang dapat na unang nagtuturo sa mga anak. Mga magulang po, huwag iasa lahat sa eskwelahan. Huwag ipasa lahat sa guro. Dahil obligasyon po ninyo ang inyong mga anak. Kayo po ang unang guro o teacher ng inyong mga anak. And most likely, kung ano si Maria, ay ganun din dahil ang kanyang mga magulang. This is what Jesus in our gospel is telling and teaching us the importance of sowing. Huh? ang kahalagahan ng pagtatanim. Ginamit lang po ni Jesus ang talinhaga ng paghahasik ng binhi o ang pagtatanim 
para ipakita ang kahalagahan. Hindi yung kahalagahan lang ng pagtatanim ng halaman. Hindi po, kahalagahan ng pagtatanim sa buhay. Yung kahalagahan ng paglago sa buhay. Jesus just used the parable of the sower to teach us the importance of growth. And more importantly, of bearing fruit in life. Inisa-isa ni Jesus ang iba't ibang uri ng paglago. Sabi niya, Tagalogin ko para mas malinaw, mayroong mababaw. May mabababaw ang pagkatanim, kaya hindi tumutubo. Mababaw. May mga matitigas, kaya walang naitatanim. Ang tigas eh. Meron din namang madaling naaagaw o nadadala, kaya walang paglago. Pero meron din namang tumutubo, mayroong lumalago at merong nagkakabunga. This is similar to life. The basis of our growth and fruit in life is seen in the process of our sowing. Ang basihan ng ating paglago at pagkakaroon ng bunga ay nakikita sa proseso ng pagtatanim. Makikita mo yung iba nagkaedad lang pero hindi naman lumago. Tumanda, di ba? Kaya ang tawag natin doon yung mga tumanda ng walang pinagkatandaan. No? Ibar talaga ang lengguahe ng Tagalog, no? Mas maganda, mas masakit nga lang. <laughs> Pag English yun, medyo parang walang dating eh. Pag Tagalog, no? Parang walang pinagkatandaan. Ganyan ang tinatawag natin dun sa mga nagkaedad, pero hindi lumago. O lumaguman, wala namang bunga. Walang pinagkatandaan. May iba, yun yun, lumago lang, walang bunga. Nagkabunga naman pero hilaw. Tawag natin pilit sa bunga. Meron naman bulok ang bunga. That's very sad. Nagkabunga pero bulok. Pero madami pa rin naman po yung mga tumubo, lumago at nagkabunga. Like the parents of Mary, we may not know about them. But because of the character of Mary, we get to know them. I am not saying this is an absolute truth, na kung ano ang magulang, siya ang anak. Hindi ko po sinasabi lahat iyon. Pwede nating isisi sa magulang. Hindi ako nagkabunga kasi magulang ko mahirap. Hindi naman ako lumago kasi magulang ko Busy sa trabaho, hindi naman ako pinapansin. We can blame our parents. But our gospel is not about our parents. It is about us. How we grow. How we bear fruit. Hindi tayo makapamili ng magulang. And that's true. But we can choose our destiny. We can choose our character. Pwede tayo mamili kung anong ugali ang ating uugaliin, kung anong karakter ang ating isa sa buhay. Our parents are just guide. But we can still choose what kind of fruit that we will bear in the future. Si Maria we can know a little about her parents because of her character. Madasalin, probably, magulang ang nagturo. ba? Masunurin, probably, the parents are also obedient. Si Maria, may takot sa Diyos, probably, the parents also have fear in God. Those are probable cause. But still, Mary chose to be good, chose to be obedient, and chose to be kind.
chose to fear God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what our gospel and celebration would want to tell us. Ang pagtatanim ay isang proseso. Makikita ang buong resulta base sa iyong naging bunga. Amen. Please stand. With the prayers of Saints Joachim and Anne, let us ask the Lord to build us a home like theirs where the Blessed Virgin Mary felt the warmth and love of family life. We pray and say, Lord, let every generation praise you. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may rejoice at your salvation, that many prophets and righteous people long to see and hear. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let every generation, generation praise you. That we may cherish the memory of godly men and women in the scriptures and imitate their virtues. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let every generation, generation praise you that we may cherish the home of Saints Joachim and Anne, where Mary was surrounded by their faith and love, and where she learned to listen to the Lord and to follow His will. We pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. That we may cherish the role of grandparents in family life, in transmitting the experience and wisdom of their lives. We pray. Lord, let every generation praise you that the elderly may wait for the call of the Lord from life to a fuller life with the happiness of the old man Simeon who had seen the salvation of the Lord. We pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We also pray for our parents and grandparents. We pray. Lord, let every generation praise you. Lord God, you prepared the Virgin Mary to, became, to become the mother of your son, even while in the womb of Saint Anne. Through the intercession of Saints Joachim and Anne, make our homes a haven of peace and love. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory be his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage 
and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful and strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints Anne and Joachim, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Panalangin ang pag-iinsenso sa imahe ni na San Joaquin at Santa Ana. Ipanalangin mo kami o San Joaquin at Santa Ana nang kami ay dapat makinabang sa mga pangako ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Ama naming makapangyarihan, binigyan mo ng katuparan ang ipinangako mong kaligtasan sa iyong bayan. Ang mga lingkod mong sina San Joaquin at Santa Ana ay kabilang sa mga nakatingin sa bukang liwayway ng pagdating ng Mesiyas. Nilingap mo sila hanggang sa kanilang katandaan at hinirang upang maging mga magulang ng magiging ina ng Mesiyas, si Maria, na sa sinapupunan ni Santa Ana ay ipinaglihing walang sala, alang-alang sa kalugod-lugod na buhay nila sa iyong paningin, itaguyod mo kami sa aming pagsusumikap na maging matapat sa iyong salita at matutong maghintay sa iyong nararapat na tugon sa aming mga idinadalangin na mga pangangailangan. Katulad ni na San Joaquin at Santa Ana, turuan mo kaming magpasalamat lagi sa iyong mga biyaya na bigay na ukol sa aming ikaliligtas kahit na lingid sa aming mata. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing my heart's playing 
Yeah.